Introducing the all new Corolla. Guahan Academy charter school officials aren't commenting on a contract agreement made with their former business manager, Jerry Crawford, a month after he severed ties with the school. According to documents obtained by PNC, Crawford received a $5,500 check the same day he signed a legal release and confidentiality agreement. PNC contacted GAX spokesperson Therese Matinane and are waiting for an official comment from the school. In a text message to PNC, Crawford declined to comment, writing, quote, When I left the charter school, my contract prohibits me from making any comments of any kind. The agreement, dated November 18th of this year, states that in consideration of the $5,500 payment, Crawford releases and discharges the school from, quote, any and all claims, demands, damages, actions, cause of action or suits of any kind or nature whatsoever, arising out of or in any way relating to any and all injuries and damages as a result of his contract with the school. PNC asked the Legislature's Education Oversight Committee Vice Chair, Senator Aileen Yamashita, what she knows about the agreement. I don't know specifically about that. I am aware of that whole situation, and um, I'm sure that if we ask them, they might be able to tell us. Uh, I mean, this is, again, uh, taxpayer money, and it's like, what was the money used for? And if it was to set up business accounts, and that's what it was done for. The Education Oversight Committee has met with Crawford and with GAC's CEO, Donna DeWiggins, and got information from them both that Crawford left in late October which means the agreement was signed and the check issued nearly a month after his departure. Yamashita says she still has a lot of questions about the situation and the business manager position at the school, and she hopes she can have an open dialogue with the school about those matters. All of this just needs to be discussed, and honestly, um, Betsy, I just think the more open we are and the more honest we are with each other, we will be fine, and we just move on and we learn from all of this. That discussion was expected to take place at last month's oversight hearing, which was adjourned after school officials refused to talk, except through their attorney. Another oversight hearing is being planned for January. Betsy Brown, PNC News.